Lemmings do not periodically cast themselves off cliffs. Elephants are not afraid of mice. A frog will not remain in a pot of water that is slowly brought to a boil until it's cooked to death. Whoever came up with that one should probably see a counselor. There are lots of urban myths out there that if you fall for them, won't really affect your life one way or the other. But there are some spiritual myths that you definitely don't want to buy into. Like this one. Spiritual maturity can happen instantly if you find the magic formula. Fact check, false. The path to spiritual maturity is not a sprint. It's not even a marathon. It's a journey. Now, you wouldn't know that by browsing the self-help section of your favorite online Christian bookseller. It's full of titles promising that if you'll just take these five steps or four keys or three habits or this one secret, you'll be all God wants you to be. The Bible just doesn't know anything about instant sanctification. Paul told Timothy to preach the word with patience. Peter called his readers to perseverance, and he reassured them that God himself was patient. You don't need patience and perseverance if spiritual maturity comes in a can. The problem with get good quick schemes is that they just don't deliver. Christians who buy into that myth are like, well, they're like athletes who take steroids. They want to get the muscle without making the sacrifice. And just like steroids, there are some nasty side effects. When trouble comes, when hardships hit, when Satan attacks, Christians who took a shortcut to spiritual growth, well, they fold up like a dollar store lawn chair. No offense, dollar store. I can tell you exactly how long it's going to take for you or me to reach spiritual maturity the rest of our lives. John said it this way, Dear friends, now we are the children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We will not be like him, when, when we find the five secret keys or the seven healthy habits or make the 12 brave decisions, we'll be like him when we see him as he is. It's not a sprint. It's not even a marathon. It's a journey. And it's not a sermon. It's just a thought.